Who knew it was possible for anybody to have anything favorite from Danny's? <laughs> Sorry, Danny's. Shout out the Grand Slam, though, for sure. It's black hoodie, I'm back cooking these goodies. Look at these views from cooking these foods. Yeah. out where it's good with y'all this is a sandwich that i used to get at danny's i don't even know if it's on the menu anymore to be honest with you and i still haven't looked it up yet but i think it was called like the super bird so it was fried chicken cutlet in with cheese i'm pretty sure matza on sourdough now this is a crusty baguette loaf it's just what i had um toasted off crunchy probably better on sourdough because just a little more less sharp in the mouth because this is going to be sharp in the mouth with tomato and I know it's interesting to have hot tomato in a sandwich, but for some reason it works. Also, it came with a side of ranch in the restaurant. And this is years and years and years ago. Uh, so I don't know if they still have it, but they had a side of ranch. And you dunk it in the ranch, which you know I love. And then because, oh, sorry, I also did it with a cornflake batter. This piece of chicken, this little heart-shaped piece on the side here is panko. I made it kind of katsu styles is basically what you'd call it. I sauced it too early and it since has gotten a little bit soggy, but I'm going to just slice it real quick before we pour into some katsu fingers. I always found it interesting that in that language, I think it's Japan, is it? I'm not sure that katsu just really means like a fried piece of battered chicken it's really all it means i don't think it's it's really just that and generally it's crispy and not sauced or you can sauce it or whatever you can do whatever you want with your food basically play with your food i know you're told not to but you should anyways before i do anything more we must pour and you already saw in the intro it's a creamy a and w root beer kind of day i kind of been on root beer lately as you've noticed but this time we've gone with the uh, brand, the, the top tier brand of root beer, right? It really is. Just such a uh, cut above when it comes to the root beer game. So anyways, I first discovered this sandwich on my travels in the states of america because where i live never had a denny's we'll just discard that little chunk here and um by and large canada i don't think has many denny's toronto had one when i lived there when i first got there and you know we would go we'd stop at denny's for food on travels in america and this sandwich always stuck out to me and I really liked it, really loved it. Oh, I craved it. For years and years and years.
Wow. It's so awesome. I know Denny gets a bad rap, but... Mm. I personally always actually love Denny's. Denny's can do no harm to me. I am just such a sucker. For... A nice big breakfast like that where you get all your choices of different style of eggs and your sides and all that I love that but this right here one day intrigued me mm. she's steaming and smoking and it was game over from there. And what is crazy is right there, it's that hot, juicy tomato. is the magic. So proper. A little cleanser. And into a slice of this BBQ katsu. Simply a chicken parmesan with none of the other stuff. Not really though. Parms are battered and coated. Generally pretty differently. More seasonings. And not usually panko. <laughs> Delicious nonetheless. Mm. Sweet baby rays never does me any any kind of wrong. <laughs> I don't know. It's just a beautiful thing. This here. I, uh, no spoilers, but I bought, I watched the movie The Whale, the Brendan Fraser movie, because he's been out of the game for quite some time now. And, uh, it was like very acclaimed and everybody was saying that, you know. One of the greatest films to be released. And that, you know, he's back for a guy who hasn't been around for a long time. 
I won't say too much about it. But as far as the drama goes, it was good. But was it all that? All the hype that I was hearing about it? I personally don't think so. But I can't sit and say that it wasn't good. Um, I was also wondering the whole time. How he... You know, the suit or prosthetics or whatever. How they made him look like that. So seamlessly. And also how... I was thinking to myself, I'm like... You know, there's not one shoot day. There's tons of shoot days. And... Uh, Just how many times he would have to go through war, like makeup and wardrobe and all that to play the role. Like that must have been absolutely exhausting to go <laughs> to go through. But hey, that's his craft. This is the thicker end of the chick. But yeah, ultimately, pretty good movie. Lots of, I don't know, just like a, uh, the theme of it, the, the feeling of it. Well, I don't want to say it was dark, but, you know, it was, uh, Just dealing with a lot of different, like darker emotional states, I guess, type thing. But there was a, a moment in it where he's eating a bucket of chicken. And my inner ASMR mukbang. <laughs> food junkie self was like, oh man, I want some of his fried chicken <laughs> so bad <laughs> right now because I was hungry. But when he's eating it, he's like in an addictive press sad burying and killing my emotions with this fried chicken state which wasn't enviable though the crunch of the chicken quite enviable <laughs> I did just want to keep it light in this video. No like wild topics. <laughs> but we'll see what other crazy wild zanian ideas, stories or whatever I can plan for the future here, but I'm nice and full off that. I should also mention that this sandwich always came with shredded hash browns that were cooked off on the griddle 
into like, you know, that pancake shape that they serve them to, kind of circular. Which is probably my favorite style of breakfast hash brown. But then again, I don't know if I, I can say that because a McDonald's hash brown patty is kind of stupid how good it is. So maybe I'm wrong in that. But uh, anyways, that's my Denny's experience. How do y'all feel about Denny's? Do you like it? Do you hate it? Is it trash? I personally have a little... I don't want to pat myself on the back. Soft spot. That's my heart. That's where I'm supposed to be. Soft spot for Denny's. It just holds nostalgic memory. And a delicious sandwich. And breakfast and stuff. Okay. Until the next one. You know what to do. You good, live well. Stay true. If you like this content, please like, comment, and subscribe, as well as check out my pinned comment down below to find other ways to support this channel. Thank you for watching, eat good, live well, and stay true.